night prepping for tomorrow we are excited to announce that the racing channel is going to be come, coming down to feature the GTR we actually are prepping we invited some friends over with their cars you know my friend Tobias and just so yeah we're here prepping making sure that uh, the shops clean cars looking good we got a couple other people showing up too uh, I gotta admit it's uh it's an honor to say that the racing channel is coming down to feature us. We ready? We good? Yes. I'm right. tired, but it, this place looks awesome. Well, you've been here all day, to be honest. It's I mean, gonna so look how it's always supposed to look now from now on. Full of badass JDM cars and Euro cars and American cars. Yep. But, I mean, this is the indication of what we work on up here. Every oh yeah. Every car you see in here has been touched by us. And I mean Brandon as well, me, you, Mike, all of Oh yeah, our buddy Brandon, Aquisto Performance, obviously here with us at RV Power. We did some new work with the GTR for those who, we got a new catch can, courtesy of Motorsports Mechanical in Australia. Thank you, Mick, for sending me over this catch can, just going over a couple little things. We actually want to thank Eminem Motorsports. He actually did uh, all the charge pipes uh, in titanium, also the five inch titanium pipe. As you can see here, this is all, you know, really, really cool. He actually um, repositioned my intercooler too because it was off a little, so he oh, got that all straightened damn, out. Shit, so special thanks to Mike. <laughs> yeah, uh, the these guys are getting on my case. On the Hoonigan video. Hey bro. Sick car, but like, why is the intercooler off center? Out of everything you can point out on the car, that's what you can point out. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We will be filming tomorrow while we are being filmed. So while the racing channel is here, we will also be filming our, our video as well. So until then, we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll be here in the morning doing some final little things to get everything done. Mr. Alvarado, anything you want to add? Anything you want to add, sir? Me? Uh, I feel like a bum. I have a headache. It's hot as hell. It's been hot all day. Um, Facts. Tobias was hot as hell. So, uh, what can I say? We got LeBron. Oh, yeah. Turbo truck belt. Look at that. Baddest RX-7 in Florida right here. Oh, man, I'm going to piss off a lot of people. Baddest RX-7 in Florida right here. Yeah. <laughs> Baddest RX-7 right here. TRC in the house. Hey guys, what's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? Yeah, how you been? Yeah, good, man. Yeah, good, good, Not man. too bad of a drive. And I was gonna Smooth say, sailing. Saturday, early morning. Oh, Should've no, been, all right. Shot right over. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's probably nice. That's cool. <laughs> I know, I didn't expect you guys to be in the house a lot. But I know. <laughs> I figured maybe like an R35. Hey guys, how you doing? I actually just got it. I uh, got rid of my whole I don't know how you guys were going to feel about the whole, like, mask thing, you know, uh, kind of, how you doing, brother? Nice to meet you, man. Have you ever, like, heard of him? Yeah, I have one of our friends, uh, what is, uh, hey, what did, uh, what's his name have? Jose, I mean, Juan. Uh, this was a, the but that's an X model, though, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I don't, all I know is he has, like, the performance package oh, or nice. whatever, and he's like, launch it, bro. I was like, what do you mean, launch it? He's like, just hold the brake, give so it gas, and let go, bro. <laughs> I have never felt over that car, that car, my car, the way that car accelerates the, off the line. The, the torque. Yeah, it's insane. Torque. It's crazy. I feel it's, like that was in a box machine. Yeah, it's the best way to put it. Even like over an R35, it was like, I've never experienced like no lag and just instant response yeah, like that nuts. before. I mean, it doesn't replace the race cars. No, but like, no. For like, for like a daily, it's bad. Cool. I did it. Like I drove with him for 15 minutes and after we had already stopped driving, I'm like, I'm already bored of it. Like <laughs> I can't do this. I, I need to hear something. Oh, like sure. it's just, it's so weird. It's, Put me in the I don't, I don't know, but. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, some other cars here. Here. yeah, this is our buddy Josh's car. He does a lot of cleaning. <laughs>
off of it. I was, it popped off and I was holding it. So Jesse was riding with somebody. So we were going on the highway and we were, he was like, he like and stood out in one of the RX-7s. Yeah, he's all over the place. What's up, man? How you doing? Josh, nice to meet you. Up here, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, so this is his your car? Yeah, yeah. This is very clean, man. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Super, super clean. Uh, only Honda, uh, uh, Nissan. <laughs> hey, we got some Doritos in your hey, car. We, yeah. we love Hondas too, bro. <laughs> we awesome. love it all. <laughs> it's bad clean. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, and then this right here is making me want a Honda, bro. My, my, hey. my personal <laughs> favorite, she knows that, but. This is Monica's car. Awesome. Yeah, it's the, the inside spotless. I mean, the whole car is spotless, but all Nismo panels, cage clusters, steering wheel. How much does it make? Uh, we don't know yet because we haven't turned up the booth, so we are having some issues with the maps. Um, it was running R35 maps, and at the time, well, it still is, it's actually running a Power FC. Okay. So there was no like base map or data bank for right, those right. maps. So when Martin came down from RS Enthalpy, he's like, all right, we're gonna have to redo this thing from scratch. The goal is to get the car running and driving, to stock boost, and then once she was ready, which clearly was very fast, uh, more power. Uh, it's super nice, man. I mean, R34 and one turbo. Yeah, this is like made drop probably one of the cleanest R32s I've yeah. seen around, for it's, sure. It's, and I'm not even just saying that because she's in front of me. I mean, it's by <laughs> far the cleanest one I've ever seen. It's awesome. It's got a tasteful mind. Nice and done. Very, very clean. What turbos are you? Uh, the R34 and ones, the ball oh, bearing okay. ones. Nice. Um, obviously the Gretti Inlet kit. 750 yeah. inches yeah. injectors? 650s, yep. I believe they were SARDs. I don't remember, what was it? Denzos, okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm so way off. Super fun, for sure. It, it sounds great, looks great. It's all that matters. <laughs> Nice. Olin's coilovers, R35 brakes, 34. You guys brought everything. Well, I, this is actually what's here every day. We, like, we didn't want it to make it seem like too obvious. Like, oh, yeah, these, like, these are literally the cars that stay here, some that we bring in and sell. This is actually my stepmom's car who we just pulled up. Um, GTS. Yeah, that's my wife's car, man. She actually just pulled up. That's her car. Man. She this was the car I don't know if he shared with you. One that we had a, a little bit of a, yeah, a mishap. Yeah, this poor car got hit in the back. Oh, no. He owned out a four way, and actually, courtesy of this gentleman right here, the yeah, whole body the was just straightened out. Luckily, there was no like frame damage, subframe tweaking. It was actually, yeah, there's Nobody a couple small things. But I, I don't like, you know what I mean? I don't but like, you know that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't like bullshit. Somehow, man, though, the, the trunk, doors, everything was still straight and shut, but the quarter panel was pushed in, and the last couple of months, they've been. Trying to just keep everything strictly metal. We didn't want any Bondo, fiberglass, shit like right, that. Right, right. What just year is this? It's an 86. Okay. Uh, according to the paperwork Love he got, um, it's a two owner car, including him now as a third. Uh, 115,000 K, RB20. It's got the yeah. finned valve covers, which we had a guy on press like a shit ton of money for him because you know how expensive those yeah, are. Yeah, you can't buy, you can't buy it these. It makes things, no man. sense, but. It sucks it's not, we didn't get the clean in. I mean, yeah, the, the car is such a joy to drive, man. It's so comfortable. Uh, this is actually my good Sierra's M3. Genuine M3, she races this at Sebring. I know, obviously, you came to see this thing. Yeah, this is, this is the one right here. Yep. We'll save that. Let's, let's give my 10 seconds of glory for me. <laughs> this is so, basically, it's... Oh, you got the sequential under right here? No, I oh, wish. Okay, okay. It's here, I but we got to put it on. It's got that Tomei what, short What trans is it? A stock. No, it's not, well, it's actually an R33, which is okay, the I was carbon twin disc ceramic. Because the 32s are, are... Oh, yeah. Well, he'll tell you yeah. what happened to that one. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't hold much past like 700 no, inch. I don't like even that. know how this yeah, one lasted as long as it did. I literally, like, after you know got the Hanna I was like... That's a grenade. Yeah, it's thing. literally <laughs> a bomb waiting to happen. Yeah, they went to the track and... When I saw you launching the thing in the video, I yeah. was like, that's gotta be a, a get rag. Right. It's gotta be a six feet or something. I, but like... I just kind of learned how to compensate Ryan right the shit out of that clutch. Yeah, but... exactly. As long as you don't beat it up too yeah. much, they survive. And that, uh, that's truthfully why the car hasn't been beat on that much because we're worried about the trans. But So this is actually Brandon's and Aaron's, his partner's kind of company slash drift car. It's a fully low SR20. Nice. Um, this thing fucking rips, dude. I mean, he'll take you for a ride later. I'm not even exaggerating. This car's fast. Yeah? Like, it's, it's fast. Well, they weigh nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, they don't need much to get, get up and going. 
Yeah, I mean, if we got a little bit of Right now, it's 370. Nice. That's all you need is the turbo. Yeah, and I'm sure it's got room for more with one of the bigger turbos on there. Oh, for sure. But yeah, we got yeah, a... Four to one car, old 40. Yeah, that's plenty. 100 that's years is going to be a... Well, now we're not sure, but it's a built RB25 okay. Drag S14. It's going, it's going oh, to LS. No, it's not. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah Drag Oh, radio. white he with the black wheels. A big house, so he's like, look, I need to sell something, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I'm, he's had the car since he was 17, and... Never getting rid of it. It's like the OG TRC 240. Yeah, it was, it was yep, white back yep. in the day. This is mine. Um, nice. I mean, the whole purpose of this car was to just kind of be like this particular car was just something like an all around car. Just yeah. somebody to get in, drive, sound good, have fun in, go to shows. You drifted? Yes and no. I don't. I haven't taken this car to track. Right. I'll do street sliding and whatnot, but right. up until it's like a week ago, all around car. That's what I built it for. It's just something I can get in, drive, have fun in, look cool, and yeah. you know, do whatever with. I, I, up time. until a week ago, I was daily driving this car every day, and <laughs> yeah, man. I didn't regret it one bit. People thought I was on crack when I tell them I daily this, but bro, I, I daily drove a 240 for like. Oh yeah. I don't think there's this the one point in my life that I don't have a 240 because yeah. <laughs> I replaced it with the R32. But yeah, well that's but, my man, goal now is to get one of those. But it's uh, uh, you know it's it's not a bad thing to. Yeah, I, I daily not bad. Like five years. It it takes it. Then the last two months I've taken two trips to Daytona, Miami. I've gone to Tampa. I can't even tell you how many times in this thing. And yeah, it's fun, man. It's on airlift, so I think the biggest thing that makes it comfortable is that it's on air. Um, gotcha. I wanted to, like this particular car again to be different, do something that not a lot of 240 guys do, you know, bag it, kind of stay with the RV compared to like the ZLS, which I'm a diehard RV fan and yeah. you know that. And um, I wanted to just kind of, you know, do something different. I didn't want to do a 25 or 6. I really like the 20 as a platform. I, like, I did a lot of research with this particular motor and after talking to like Andrew Hawkins, because you know, now that this has been where it's at, we've been close with Australian guys, and I was like, yeah. hey, what can I do with this setup and that? He's like, I get the whole Australian, Mike, listen here, you put it on the ethanol, <laughs> put it on 30 pounds boost, you're good to go, and it, you know, turned into that, but uh, it's basically just a, a rebuilt motor with a Tomei head gasket, ARP head studs, uh, ID 1000. Yeah, you, you got the right. You got the right little tweaks. Yeah, to it and for sure. I, everything else internally stock. I mean, after reading about how like oil galleries, water jackets, all that are actually better than 25 and 26 on a 20, which makes no sense. Um, I was like, all right, I'm gonna push to make four or five hundred on this thing. And right now, on 15 pounds, the goal is 430, 445. Nice. Um, the turbo already took a shit. It's a cheap. It was a CX Racing turbo. I knew like the turbo was gonna go. The goal was to get a cheaper turbo, put it in there, kind of get a feel for the power and power bands, oh, how it's gonna sit. And now I wanna save up for a Garrett GTX 30. That's really what I want. And eventually go to a different intake manifold. I wanna gain a little more higher end. I know with this style manifold, it's the stock runners and plenum, and it keeps the low end torque and you just get a little bit of higher end by you know getting rid of the stupid crossover shit. Yeah, and, for sure, for sure. But yeah, it's, I mean, it sounds so, good. So the, so the turbo's, it's fucked up right now? Or? I mean, it's drivable, but not uh, boostable. Right, 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 yeah, no, no. I was gonna say, let's go for some ramps. I, I wish, trust Next me, time, when man. I knew you guys were coming, time, I was man. so upset that this damn turbo took <laughs> a shit, and I was like. a bad track record in S14. <laughs> really? I can't I complain, man. Just don't take, it, just don't take it for a ride. never broken anything in this car I rode in blew up. Really? <laughs> well, actually, if you look up there, that's my manly rod that uh, <laughs> oh, my fourth injector decided to hydro lock. My car was just at our old shop right there, just idling. And I watched the AFR just go straight to green, and it just sandwiched the rod. I, uh. I, literally, we were just saying the car was just idling. I wasn't getting on it, nothing. I just, I actually, uh, at the time, I was running 1,200. I don't know, some big ass injectors and I was on ethanol so we're like all right hey let's get our injectors clean you know and then I I'm not blaming the shop but at the same time I'm like after two years of being on E85 never cleaning them I get them cleaned one time and then my motor blows up Shit. you know so and it's the name, the name of the game sometimes and then the same week this thing got hit and that's why it's wide body it was soft <laughs> chassis I never I never wanted this car to be wide body but right after it blew up, the car was sitting right outside of our old shop. Some guy backed into it with a trailer, put a oh, hole like this big in the no. quarter panel. And Might as well throw a wide body out of Yeah, I, I didn't want to, but I knew if I was going wide body, it had to be molded, it had to be different, and it had to be red. Oh, for sure. <laughs>
Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Well, yeah, it's a main event. Let me, yeah, let me, take, move a, on to let me the, take the bad boy the out. The reason we're here. Yeah, dude. dude, this thing is awesome. Thank you, brother. The rat came out sick, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, we wanted to, to change it up, you know what I mean? Do something completely different. It's one thing about me, too, is it's like I want to... Yeah, those are the original. Those are R33 sets, actually. But I've seen that in the old I had... Um, I mean, I, I bought the Aftermarket the seats for it, uh, but I just, it's just not the same, man. It's just so much more comfortable with them. Yeah, yeah those are, they just, you know, they just kind of snug you in. Those and the R34 seats, yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. go wrong with those. R34 seats, too. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, we just put on that yesterday. We had uh, the titanium piping done. Some friends of ours, you know, helped us with the titanium. Yeah. We did this so we can get all the, all the air duct. Um, yeah, it looks real good. Uh, yeah. We gotta finish so up the like can set up. Just over a thousand, like thousand fifty or something, or uh, one thousand forty-four. One thousand forty-four. Yeah, to be exact. That's good. Yeah. So it's a it's a twenty-six. Yes, N one, N one block, uh, niddle, pistons, rods, rings. The head has um, obviously oversized valves, um, springs, retainers, all that. Uh, Stock core. Yes, yeah, it's a stock board. Actually, I've got another head right now that I'm actually wanting to port and polish to, to put on it. Um, basically, just remove this head and put that one on there. Nice. Uh, that would be the next call, of course. Uh, the Actually, the my sequential just came in today, too. Oh, nice. So DVD exciting. It, yeah, no, uh, Samsonis. Samsonis, okay. Yeah, 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 just came in today. So it's like, I nice. when we get done here, I'm going to pick it up. So I can't Hell wait yeah, to man. That. Dude, that's going to be awesome. That's, I, got, I got a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me tell you, man. 22 thousandths of a second shifts. That's what they yeah. That shift. comes as like a full built box yeah. already built, right? It's, like, it's a box built. We have to disconnect the um, um, the transfer case, put the transfer case on it, and right. it comes with a, a new bell housing. The bell housing is from Astagia because they're, you know, R34 like automatics. Right. So it has to come with a different bell housing. Obviously, the shift is all that. You nice, know, man. I mean, Brandon does all. I, all the maintenance on this car is done by Brandon, you know. Hell yeah. So it's... Good stuff, dude. What, uh, what did you guys do for, like, oiling system? Uh, it's got a... Uh, well, it's... Yeah, pump? It, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got a bigger sump. It's got an eight and a half quart sump. Uh, obviously, an extended collar. Uh, the oil pump is the niddle, high volume pump. It's the niddle? Okay. Yeah, it's the niddle pump. Everything on the... Like, most of the stuff's niddle. It's Australia built, man. The motor was built in Australia. So it's like the moment, you know, they built everything there, we put it in the crate, we got it in the crate, and then, you know, the rest is... What engine man does it? It's got a uh, ECU Masters, uh, the black. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Who yeah. it? Martin. Martin. Number one, man. RSN Telpy, man. He's one of my sponsors. Martin is the best. Who? Martin he's a local a, guy, or? Martin is the best. <laughs> it's going in... Yeah, he's a local guy, but I mean, he travels all over the country. Uh, it's RSM Felty. He does everything. He's tuned this. He tunes all of the drift cars. He's tuned the GTRs out there. He, he's tuned everything. We, everything we've all known. PSS axles, um, the whole drive train, you know, it's a PSS one, it's drive shaft, all that. So, um, you know, they're a big shout out to them too because they were prompt and quick with everything. So, yeah. yeah that's the best of the best right there. Once you, once, once you put that sequential in there, that's gonna, you're going to be ready for. I mean, for some 22,000 yeah, yeah. 22, of a second shift, according to Samsona. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's very quick. So, I mean, we can't wait to be able to. Uh, I mean, once that's in, first stop's the track. You know, just to see if we've been dying to bring. Because every time we've gone to the track, we've blown transmissions, we've blown axles. So, we haven't even had an actual track time. You know what I mean? It's right. just, it's all fresh. So, we haven't been able to, to really deliver a track time. So, that's something we're really waiting for. Yeah, it's a good for sure, man. Hopefully. All right, we'll go ahead and fire up. Yeah, sure.
That was so funny, bro. His face was like, ah! <laughs> It's, let me tell you guys, it's loud in that car. Like, loud out it's, that it's car. weird. It's hard to describe when you're driving it, you're so focused on not crashing. But when you're not driving, you're just like, oh my God, like. Damn it, dude, I wish my car was running. So, today was a success. Super great day, met probably one of the nicest people ever. Well, the whole group. Uh, that racing channel came down here, TRC. Uh, they actually did walk around of my car, Josh's cars, some of our customer cars, and of course they came for the GTR. Super nice guys, by far, just really humble, really down to earth, and just good personalities, and it was such a blast to meet them. And it's cool, you know what I mean? They got out the car, it's like, dude, I see these guys on YouTube with two million subscribers, and it's cool. I, uh, it was nice meeting them, and um, I'm really looking forward to the video, because I feel like it's been a good one, because there was a lot of content. Brandon was drifting, my car, dad freaking doing burnouts, dumping it, and then, Friggin', I just, yeah, I can't talk, I'm so happy, but.